Hey, what's up guys, it's me Aladdin and in this video I'm gonna explain automation for Apple Studio Mobile. So first of all, you have to understand the term automation. To make the things do tasks automatically is called automation. Suppose we want to automate this volume knob of piano channel. So the first thing we have to do is move the volume knob at least two times. Now click this three dot control button. Now click on add automation track. So we successfully got the automation track for volume knob. Let me slide it down to explain you guys in more better way. So as you can see on the left side of the automation track, we can able to see some numbers. These numbers represent the level of volume knob. And if you see here, you can able to see a very light gray line, which actually represent the current position of the volume knob. Now let's make one automation. Now after seeing this graph, we can easily able to tell that the volume of the piano will be zero at the beginning, but it will gradually increase to 100 with time. And now if you delete this automation graph and keeps the automation track as it is, then nothing is going to be happen on volume knob because we haven't drawn any graph on it. I will show you one more example so you guys don't have any doubt left. So let's create one more graph. Now I hope you guys understand the automation clearly. And one more thing I want to tell that these numbers will be different for different perspective. Like if you are making a automation graph for left to right side, then the zero will be left and 50 will be middle and the 100 will be right side. Let me show you one example for this. Make sure you are using a stereo headset now. So I hope you guys got more clarification and understanding on the automation. I have one question for you to solve. What is the pitch at C if this automation graph level is showing pitch? Comment down your answers. So I hope you guys like the video. Have a nice day guys. Bye bye.